The seventh conference of the tourism ministers of China, Mongolia, and Russia opened in Wuhan on Tuesday. This year, the discussions were centered around the revival and future development of an Asian trade route linking China, Mongolia, and Russia, which is also known as the Tea Route of a Thousand Miles. In which aspects are these three countries looking to enhance in terms of trade and tourism? Are there any success stories that can be shared from the meeting? Let's find out. We are looking forward for the development of public diplomacy between uh, our region and regions of China and uh, Mongolia as well, because we are very close to these countries, we are neighboring countries, and it's very important to promote some projects in humanitarian field, including tourism field. Field is very important now, and together, this uh, our local government and also uh, Chinese authorities, we uh, discussing different projects in the field of. Uh, international tourism cooperation including uh, great tea road projects it's very important to let people know about the history about the roots of this uh, uh, great road about uh, it will help our people just ordinary people just young people to understand uh, how to promote to, uh, for cooperation between our countries Developing tourism cooperation with China is our top priority. We share a really long border with 4,700 kilometers of land border. People-to-people -people exchange is an important pillar of our Mongolian and China bilateral relations. We are going to sign the agreement on intensifying border tourism between Mongolia and China. We believe that this agreement will enhance Mongolian China tourism cooperation, and we are going to welcome more and more Chinese tourists into Mongolia. During this meeting, we have talked about developing and reviving this old ancient tea road. Mongolia, Russia, China economic corridors is important part of the establishment of uh, uh, Belt and Road Initiative. 